welcome to Merchant Tailors. One of the first things that strikes you here is the sense of space. We're lucky to have an amazing site, which includes lakes, playing fields that stretch for miles, brand new facilities, and green space all over campus. The atmosphere is great too. Busy, yet still relaxed. You get to feel part of a team and still be your own person too. If someone was wondering if they should come to Taylor's, I would 100% advise yes. It is a great academic and co-curricular school. The sports are good, the teachers are amazing and the facilities are just outstanding. So what are the lessons like? Well, the teachers push us hard, but it's enjoyable, so you don't notice it. What also stands out is the way teachers go the extra mile. During lockdown, the teachers quickly adapted their lessons using the latest technology and we were able to continue learning online with no interruption, still taking exams and receiving feedback before the end of term. Where we learn is just as important as what we learn. We have so many classrooms full of the latest tech that gives you a lift just being there. The school is always thinking of new ways to help us learn. An example is Mr. Hoyer's new literary society where boys analyse, present on and debate works of literature and history which is designed to help sick formers preparing for humanities courses at university. There is a strong tradition of music and drama at MTS. There are big productions and concerts involving other schools, as well as smaller events which give all age groups a chance to perform. In drama, I really enjoyed um, looking at the play All Day Out. I enjoyed acting through each of the characters and stepping into their voices and shoes. Musicians also get to work with the latest technology and many boys have individual lessons with specialist teachers. Mr. Cauldridge is Director of Music and Mrs. Stubbs is Assistant Director of Music. Under their guidance, a number of boys have recently gained organ scholarships to Oxford and Cambridge, including one boy who was also the organist in residence at Windsor Castle for a year before taking up his place. In music in year seven, we did a lot of work on African, African music. My heritage is from Africa, so it was good to learn a bit more about my culture. I take the violin and the piano, which I continue to play. I play in orchestras, and I think that's a really good way of developing your music ability. An important point of contact for the boys is their tutor. The tutor keeps an eye on your progress and is always available to listen, as well as offer advice, and is there to respond to parents' questions too. All of this is organised through the house system. There are eight houses in total, all named after important figures in the school's history, and they allow us to compete against each other. There are many house competitions in everything from hockey to chess to classics. Last but not least is sports. And there really is something for everyone here. MTS stands out for sport, partly due to the great facilities and also due to the quality of the coaches who inspire us to do better at every game session. Mr. Alexander represented Great Britain at hockey over 100 times. He still knows a thing or two even now. Mr. McGowan has already taken the first 11 cricket team to new heights, beating some of the very best schools in the country last year on their way to becoming London T20 champions. Mr. Mills has coached the first 15 for over 10 years and in recognition of his work, was also invited to coach England school boys. Importantly, there are many other sports which we can enjoy and excel at too. How about water sports on the lakes or tennis? In sport, I play tennis currently and I've played hockey, rugby and cricket, but tennis is definitely my favourite. Hopefully we've given you a flavour of life at Taylor's. Our school has produced chancellors of the Exchequer, leaders of the armed forces, famous actors, some of the biggest names in the city and a recent Nobel Prize winning scientist. As for me and my classmates in year eight, we're proud to follow in their footsteps but are also looking forward to creating our own paths, whatever they might be. Thanks for watching.